Okay, page 14. Um, I had made a statement in a few videos back that I'm going to be posting drum set applications, a lot of fun coordination things to do from these reading exercises. There will be a minimum charge per video and there also will be a PDF file with it. So just stay tuned and if you'd like, you can purchase the different ways. They're very, very inexpensive, minimal amount. Nothing will exceed $1.99 per video. It might be a 20 minute video with three or four or five sheets of PDF. Okay, we're gonna do page 14. Again, we have quarter notes, half notes, eighth notes, quarter note rest, 16th notes. And we're going to count in 16th notes again. One, E, and, a uh, two, E, and, a. Uh. I'm not going to demonstrate an alternate sticking, just a tap, maybe with one hand or alternate to both hands, or just with the left. I'm going to, without the metronome, do the first line, and then I'm going to turn the metronome at 60 and do line one. Here we go. One, E, play, E. One, E, and, a uh, two, E, and, a uh, three, E, and, a uh, four, E, and, a uh, one, E, and, a uh, two, E, and, a uh, three, E, and, a uh, four, E, and, a uh, one, E, and, a uh, two, E, and, a uh, three, E, and, a uh, four, Okay, at 60, <laughs> line one. <coughs> Here we go. One, two, three, zap. And one E and the two E and the E and the four. One E and the two E and the three E and the four. One E and the two E and three E and the four E and the one. Two, three E and the four and. Very simple. Okay, the second line. A grouping of sixteenth notes and two eighth notes. Quarter note, quarter note rest. And remember the definition for four time, four beats per measure. Each quarter note receives one count or one beat. If you add all those notes up in the fractions, you will come up with four, four reduced. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Line two without the metronome. One, eight, and a uh, two. because there are rests in different notation. So let's do line two at 60. One, two, three, uh, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one E and the two E and the three, four E and the one, two E and the three, four E and the. Okay, line three. Measure number one, combination of eighth notes and sixteenth notes. First measure, line three. One, play. One, E, and the two, E, and the three, E, and the four, E. Second one measure. One, E, and a two, E, and three, E, and the four. Continue. One, E, and the two, E, and three, E, and a four E and one E and a two E and a three E and a four. Line four. 
No metric. Well, let me turn the metric on 60. Combination is just a mixture. This page is just a mixture of quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, eight quarter note rest, and an occasional half note here and there. I think, yeah. Okay. Line four. Here we go. One, play. One E and the two E and three E and the four E and the one. Two E and the three. Four and one E and the two E and the three. Four. One E and the two E and three E and the four E and the one E and the two and three E and the four. Second measure line five. One. Two E and the three and four. One E and the two E and the three. Four. One E and the two. Three E and the four and one E and the two E and three. Second measure line six. One E and the two. Three E and the four and one E and the two. I'm not going to do it at 120 because I have a lot to cover on the next page. That's page 15. What you're going to be introduced to now is an eighth note rest. So far we've gone with whole notes, whole note rest, half notes, half note rest, quarter notes and quarter note rest. This is your introduction page to eighth note rest. An eighth note rest is just what it is. You rest for an eighth of a count or an eighth of a beat. If I do page 15, the first measure, the first note I see is an eighth note rest. The second note is an eighth note, and it continues on to the end of the measure, the straight eighth notes. Here I'm going to count, just to make it simplified right now, I'm not going to go into a sixteenth note count until we go to line four. Just so I can explain this and you, you, you really understand it. It's a little not confusing if you've never read eighth notes in rest before with eighth notes. It's best to do it this way. I'm going to count in eighth notes, which is going to be one and two and three and four. And line one, the first measure. There we go. One and play. And one and two and three and four. And. Now, the first measure is the same as the second measure, third measure, fourth measure. Just so you become familiar with this. This is a little, not tricky, but no. So this is what we're looking for is to grow with our understanding of rhythm. So if I did line one without the metronome, just counting in eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one. I wrote the first measure and I wrote three other measure, measures the same thing because I want you to become familiar with the uh, feeling or the placement of the note. So again, we have seven eighth notes and one eighth note rest as we do in the first line, but it's in a different place. As long as you maintain at this point, you're counting one and two and three and four and, and follow each note, you'll be able to understand it. Line two. <coughs> I'm going to play the whole line. One and play and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. 
for N. And the third line is a little bit more mixed up because now you should understand how the notation falls within the count. Line three, one and play and one and two and three and four 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 and now that's without a metronome just understanding how the notes fall inside of this particular time signature with the mixture of quarter notes, eighth notes, and eighth note rest. Now I'm going to play it at 60. I'm going to lock myself in to this tempo. Here we go. One, two, uh, three, uh. one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Second line now one, two, and three, and four, and one, and 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 two, and three, and four. At 60, I lock myself in. No special sticking pattern, no special alternating strokes or whatever, just to tab out the rhythm to understand it. Now, as we get to line four, you're going to put, you're being introduced with combinations now, a little bit different, with 16th notes. So you're going to have a combination of eighth notes, eighth note rest, and 16th notes. Now, there's a variety of ways to, to count this. What I recommend from this point on is to maintain now 16th note count. So we're going to take it from line four without the metronome. We're going to count 16th note count. One, E, play, E. One, E, and the two, E, and the three, E, and the four, E, and the one, E, and the two, E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E five one E and a two E and three bit and a four. I got a little distracted here with the time. Line six again. One E play. One E and the two E and the three E and a four E and a second minute. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and one E and a two E and three E and a four E. One E and a two E and a three E and a four. Next line and a one E and a two E and three E and a four E and one E and a two E and three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four. E and one E and a uh, 
E and a four. E and a one. E and a two. E and three. E and a four. E and a one. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, while I'm thinking about it, I put three, I think it was three, me no, four measures of an, uh, an intentional mistake in the book. There's somewhere in there. And there's a reason for that. I could change them and make them right, but I'm not going to. Only because you as the student, when reading this, you come across and say, uh-oh, something's wrong. And you figure it out. It forces you to figure it out, and you make it right. That that means to me, or to your drum teacher, you you are learning and understanding the rhythm or the systems of this rhythm. All right, so that takes care of page fifteen. We're going. I'm going to put the metronome now at sixty and run it down and close it. Here we go. One, two, and the three. Pop. One and two and three. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one e and the two e and the three e and the four. Next line one e and the two and three and four and one e and the two and three and four and one e and the two three and four and one e and the two e and the three e and the four. One E and the two E and three E and the four and one E and the two and three E and the four and one E and the two E and the three E and the four and one E and the two E and three E and the line four one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and two E and the three E and the four E and one E and the two E and the three four E and the one E and the two. Three and four e and the one e and two e and three e and the four and one e and the two e and the three e and the four e and one e and the two three and four and one e and the two e and the three e and the four and six one and two and three e and the four e and the one and two three and four. Sorry, one E and the two and three E and the four. One E and the two and three and four E and the one and two E and the three and four and one and two. Three E and the four E and the one E and the two and three and four E and the one. Two, three and four and one E and the two E and the three E and the Two and three and four and I was fooling around a little bit there, putting some dynamic markings. You know, I was using piano, menzo forte, forte, and just to have a little fun to break up the monotony. But this should help you so much because this is what straight up and down playing is about: playing rock or playing Latin. Uh, you have a lot of fun with this, like I said before. I'm posting videos of drum set application or, or optional ways to practice this, which are a lot of fun. Uh, the videos are going to be for sale, and they are at a minimal cost with PDF files. And that's going to be no more than $1.99. To be continued to page 16. Have a good day.